a cell is the basic structural and functional unit of life. Organisms can be classified into two types based on the structures present in their cells. The organisms that have a well-defined nucleus are called as the eukaryotes. Whereas those that do not have a well-defined nucleus are called as the prokaryotes. Prokaryotes, in addition to lacking nucleus, they are also devoid of all membrane-bound organelles such as mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, etc. that are present in eukaryotes. The prokaryotic organisms are the bacteria and archaea. The basic structure of prokaryotes is that they are enclosed by a cell wall and within that is the cell membrane and inside that you can see an area which contains the circular double-stranded DNA. In this area is not a membrane bound area it's just a region which contains the DNA and this area is called as the nucleoid the nucleoid contains the circular double stranded DNA and this area also contains something known as the plasmid. The plasmid also contains a small circular DNA. The plasmid contains several genes which are segments of DNA that contains genetic information. The genes that are present in the plasmid have a variety of applications in genetic engineering and gene therapy. The plasmid DNA are also capable of replication and this replication can be passed down to the nearby prokaryotes by means of these hair-like appendages here which are known as the pili. And some prokaryotes also contain flagella. The flagella helps in locomotion or the movement of the prokaryotic cell. Also the prokaryotes contain ribosomes. These dots, dotted structures here represent the ribosomes. The ribosomes are essential for protein synthesis within the cell. These are the basic structures of a prokaryotic cell. The shape of a prokaryote can be round as in cocci, can be rod shaped as in bacilli or helical as in spirilla. Prokaryotes are mostly single-celled or unicellular. Some prokaryotes are multicellular. 